Hey, what's going on? My name is Cody. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the a free Blundergat in Blood of the Dead Black Ops 4 Zombies. Um, don't worry, I am not using some weird glitches or anything. I have extra health, extra points, and pack a bunch of guns all by around 9 because I'm just in um, custom mutations or custom map, whatever you want to call it, um, in the zombies because it's easier to show you guys these tutorials without actually being in game. So, first of all, all you guys need to do is get the shield. If you don't know how to do that, there'll be a link in the description or just go on my channel and you can find it there um, of how to collect that. Um, actually, it's not necessary, but it makes it a whole lot easier. And for this one, we'll be using it because you can actually see where all the skull locations are um, by using like the shields of vision thing. If you just hold L2, while looking in the area, you can see that the skull is just there. Um, so, what you actually need is the uh, tomahawk, initially. Um, that is an actual requirement, the shield is just more helpful. So, you hold R1 with the tomahawk at the stairs there, you see that we collected the skull and it brings it back to you. So, it's the first of five locations. Now, skip to the second location, uh, which is in the main part of the map, which is in the original Mob of the Dead. Righto, now that you're back in D-Block, the original spawn point of Mob of the Dead, this uh, second skull location is actually the original location from the first map. Um, if you hold L2 again with the uh, shield, you can see that the skull is there. So then get rid of the shield, and you actually throw it at the toilet, make sure you don't hit the uh, bars, because then it won't actually pick it up. So you saw that the um, skull flashed as we picked it up. So we've collected the second skull, now onto the third skull. So for the third skull location, you need to make your way up onto the roof and then pull out the shield again if you're using that. If not, it's just in on top of this box here. If you use the shield, you can see the skull there. Get rid of that and then throw the tomahawk at that very location. We didn't actually hit it there. So you've got to make sure that you actually see the flash of the skull uh, when it comes back. Otherwise, you won't have picked it up and then you'll be left awkward that you haven't picked it up at the end. So to make sure you get it, throw it at the very edge there. And you see that we've picked up the skull there that time. If you want to make sure that you have got it, uh, if you miss the flash or something like that, you can just pull out the shield again and use its vision thing and look at that area. And if it doesn't show up, it means you've collected it. My shield just broke, so I can't actually double check that. But we saw the flash, um, so we know that we've picked that up. Now to head on to the fourth location. So for the fourth and second last piece, we need to pick up the shield again, which actually costs a thousand points. Um, you head down to the docks and head around to the left here. And it's actually a location from the original Mob of the Dead. So just to see where it is, you pull out the shield again and use its little vision thing by holding L2 with the key. You can see that the skull is there on that post. So you just throw the tomahawk at that post. It's pulled the skull back, so we know we've collected the fourth piece. Let's get rid of all these zombies. And we'll head back upstairs to the warden's office um, for the fifth and final location for the skulls. So for the fifth and final skull location we head into the warden's office and then through here to the left it's actually uh, one of the original locations again um, you can see usually through this window because it goes away it's at the top of that uh, light post but for whatever reason you actually can't if the zombie gets out of the way okay I eat my own words apparently you can actually collect it from the window um, you can double check that you've um, caught it by using the L2 again with the shield. Um, if you can't actually collect it from the window for whatever reason, um, you actually can just come out here and throw it again a lot closer and just to make sure that you always get it. You also don't have to worry about zombies jumping through the window in your way. Um, that is all five locations of the uh, skulls to collect the free Blundergat. Now if you get rid of these zombies, the Blundergat itself can actually be picked up from this table here, it lifts up out of the uh, warden's desk and looks awesome because there's fire underneath it and everything. And it just says hold square to pick up Blundergat. You can't unfortunately pick up two Blundergats in this game, um, that we know of at least. There might be a way eventually, but as of right now, um, you can't pick up two Blundergats of any kind. Um, so you can't dual wield them like you could in Mob of the Dead, the original one. Um, but yeah, I hope that uh, tutorial helped you guys of how to collect a free Blundergat within Blood of the Dead, the new Black Ops 4 Zombies map. Um, hit the subscribe down below um, for more Black Ops 4 Zombies tutorials, hints, gameplays of high round attempts, everything like that will be going up on my channel ASAP. Hope this, guys, hope this helped you guys. Have a great night. Until next time, peace.